Let's take a look at division questions. Um, unfortunately, most of them are non-calculator. Questions 11, 12, and 13 are okay for calculators though. So number one, what is 5,144 divided by eight? So we're gonna to have to use a bus stop. So five divided by eight can't be done. So uh, carry the five across. 51 divided by eight is six. Six eights are 48, so that's a remainder of three. 34 divided by eight is four. Four eights are 32, so that's a remainder of two. 24 divided by eight is three, so the answer is 643. How many sixes go into two zero two two? Well, two divided by six is zero, carry the two across. 20 divided by six is three, three sixes are 18, so that's a remainder of two. 22 divided by six is three, three sixes are 18, here we've got a remainder of four. 42 divided by six is seven. So the answer is 337. Now question three isn't gonna be much fun because we're dividing by a two digit number. Well, let's just see how things turn out. One divided by 16, zero. Carry that one across. 15 divided by 16 is also zero. So now we're gonna to have to carry 15 across. Right, it's getting a bit ugly now. So what we're gonna to have to do, there's nothing we can do to avoid this really, is write out the 16 times table. So 16, 32, 48 plus 16 comes to 64, 80, 96, 112, 128, 144, 160. Okay, right, that took uh, longer than I was hoping. So 155 divided by 16, we're gonna have to go for 144 because that's the only one, that's the nearest one that is lower than 155. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So nine sixteens are 144, so that means we've now got a remainder of 11 and 112 divided by 16 is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So the answer is 97. 200 and, sorry, 2,475 divided by 55. Right, I'm gonna break this one down because there's no way I'm writing out my 55 times table. If you get a question which is, let's say, 44 divided by 20, well, that's a bad example because it doesn't divide exactly. So actually, why don't we just change it to 40 divided by 20. 40 divided by 20 is um, two. 240s make so 220s make 40. If I divide both numbers by 2, so 40 becomes 20, 20 becomes 10, 20 divided by 10, how many 10s go into 20? It's still 2. So all I've done is I've just broken broken it down a little bit. We're sharing half as much stuff among half as many people, so therefore it's logical that, that each person will still get the same amount. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide both of these by five, because I've spotted that they're both in the five times table. So 55 divided by five, that's nice and easy, that's 11. How many fives go into two, four, seven, five? Two divided by five is zero, carry the two. Four, carry four. 47 divided by five is nine, two. 25 divided by five is five. So what I'm gonna do now is divide 495 by 11, much easier. Although even easier would have been if this had been a single digit number, but well, it's 11, it's not a horrible number, not too bad. Four divided by 11, zero. 49 divided by 11 is four remainder five. 55 divided by 11 is five. So the answer is 45. Question number five, this one is also fairly nasty. Uh, we're dividing by 21. Now I know that 21 can be divided by seven. 21 divided by seven is three. Um, I don't know if this number can be divided by seven, but let's find out. Sevens into seven goes one. Two divided by seven, zero, carry the two. 26 divided by seven is three. Three sevens are 21, so that's a remainder of five. And yes, 56 can be divided by seven, so that's an eight. So now all we're doing is we're dividing 1,038 by three. 
1 divided by 3, 0 carry the 1. 10 divided by 3 is 3, remainder 1. 13 divided by 3 is 4, remainder 1. 18 divided by 3 is 6. And the answer is 346. And we can just double check that. 346 multiplied by 21 should equal 7266. You don't have to do this check, but if you, can, you, if you want to, you can. 1, 6 is 6, 1, 4 is 4, 1, 3 is 3, put in a 0, 2, 6 is a 12, 2, 4 is a 8, plus 1 is 9, 2, 3 is a 6, add these together, 6, 6, 12, 7, and it definitely works. Question number 6, probably not going to be much fun because we're dividing by 19. 19 is a prime number, so we can't even simplify this question a little bit either. So let's just see how we go. It might end up with me writing out my 19 times table. 6 divided by 19 is 0, carry the 6 across. 69 divided by 19, okay, so already I'm going to have to write out my 19 times table. 19, 38, 57. Uh, so to add 19, I'm just adding 20 and then taking one away, so 77, 76. So 69 divided by 19 is 3. 3 19s is 57, so that is a remainder of 12. Um, so now we want 129 divided by 19, but I've not done my uh, 19 times table high enough yet. So it's going to be 95, uh, 114, 133. So um, now I can divide 129 by 19, so that's going to be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 19s are 1, 1, 4, so that is a remainder of 15. So how many 19s go into 152? Still not got my uh, 19 times table high enough, but the next number up is 152, luckily, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So the answer is 368. That's pretty horrible. Uh, question number seven. This one looks like it should be really horrendous because we're dividing by 31, but it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to be horrible. Um, it just depends on the numbers given in the, uh, well here, the 3732. Three divided by 31 can't be done. Move the three across. 37 divided by 31 is one remainder six. 62 divided by 31 is 2, 0 divided by 31 is 0. So that one was actually much easier than the previous one. Question 8, 289 divided by 17. 17's into 2, don't go, carry the 2. 28 divided by 17 is 1, and that is a remainder of um, 11. So what is 119 divided by 17? So we're going to have to uh, just write out our 17 times table. So 17, 34, 51, 68, uh, 75, 85, 92, 102, 119. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So 289 divided by 17 is 17. B, we are dividing 289 by 16. and if we divide it exactly, we've done something wrong um, because we're giving a remainder. Plus, it's an odd number, so it won't divide by 16. 2 divided by 16 is 0, carry the 2. 28 divided by 16 is 1 with a remainder of 12. So let's just write out our 16 times table. 16, 32, 48, 64, 80, 96, 102, 112. 128. Um, the next number will exceed 129, so no point going there. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So 8 16s are 128. We've got 129, so there's a remainder of 1. What's the remainder when you divide 289 by 15? 2 divided by 15 can't be done, carry the 2. 28 divided by 15 goes once with a remainder of 13. So now it's just the easy question of what's 139 divided by 15, which is obviously not easy. So let's write out our 15 times table. 15, 30, 45, 60, 75, 90, 105, 120, uh, 135, 
150. So if I'm dividing 139, then I'm looking at the 135, which is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 9, 15 to 135. We've got 139, so therefore we're going to have 4 left over. Question number 9. All we need to do is divide 138 by 6. 1 divided by 6, 0. Carry the 1 over. 13 divided by 6 is 2. Remainder 1, 18 divided by 6 is 3, so 23 packs. This question we're dividing 202 by 8. 2 divided by 8 is 0, carry the 2 over. 20 divided by 8 is 2 with a remainder of 4. Now 42 can't be divided by 8 uh, exactly, but 42 divided by 8 is 5 with a remainder of 2. So therefore 25 boxes and 2 random pencils, which who knows what she'll do with those. So the answer here is just 25. Question number 11, we're now allowed to use a calculator. So it's just 175 divided by eight, and that works out as 21.875 packs. Well, you can't buy 0.875 packs, so that has to be rounded to 22 packs. Question 12 is 234 divided by 12 and that works out as 19.5, but you can't buy half a pack of cookies, so that's gonna be rounded up to 20. Question 13 is 546 divided by 52, and that comes to 10.5, but you can't have half a coach, so that will be, therefore, 11 coaches. Don't be fooled with these numbers. You, you might think, okay, 10.5 is nearer 11 than 10, even if this number was 10.003, you need 10 full coaches and a tiny bit of an 11th coach. So even if it's a minuscule amount, you would still need to round it up to 11.